trauma she always remembered and, and was always conscious of uh, the indigenous peoples here on this earth and everywhere she traveled. So I want to begin with a prayer honoring the four directions. Oh, oh. <laughs> and um, as and we the sun. this prayer, we will rotate um, facing each of the directions. So we'll begin by facing the east. And the east is the direction from which the new day comes into this world. It is the direction of renewal. It is the place of innocence, spontaneity, joy, and the capacity to believe in the unseen. In the east is the rising sun, the dawn of a new day. As we walk the sacred path of today, help us, Creator, to gain new wisdom and strength. And now we'll turn to the south. The south is the direction of the sun as it, at its highest point. It is the place of summer, the fullness of youth, of physical strength and vigor. It is also the time that people work to prepare for the fall and winter months. Hence, symbolically, it is a time of preparing for the future and getting ready for the days ahead. To the south, where new and fresh rains come, we ask your help, gracious creator, to walk in the ways of goodness and gentleness in heart and speech. We turn to the west. In this direction, from which darkness comes. It is the direction of the unknown, of going within, of dreams, of prayer and meditation. The West is a place of testing where the will is stretched to its outer limits so that the gift of perseverance may be won. To the West, the place of the setting sun, we thank you, good and generous God, for our day, we ask forgiveness for the times we cause disharmony today. And to the north, the north is a place of winter, of white snows that remind us of the white hair of our elders. It is the dawning place of true wisdom. Here we dwell, here dwells the teachers of intellectual gifts symbolized by the great mountain and the sacred lake. Some of the special gifts that await the traveler in the north include the following capacities to think, synthesize, speculate, predict, discriminate, to solve problems, imagine, analyze, understand, organize, remember, and to interpret hidden meanings. To the north, we find courage to walk each day and ask your help, dear God, to overcome fears and anxieties. And now, for those of us who can, we will bend our knee down and touch the Mother Earth and say thank you, Mother Earth. And now we will stand up and we will raise up and raise out our arms up to the Lord, the Creator, and we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen.